Are you frustrated because you've hit the awkward stage while growing your hair out? You've probably already thought about giving up and just cutting it all off. Well, wait, don't give up just yet. Let me show you how to maintain your hair and your style during this phase. Hey guys, this is Timmy McCoy here with Pompadour Brands. I've got my client Julian, and today we'll be doing a maintenance cut on him since he's growing his hair out and just showing you how you can maintain a nice style with Pompadour products in his hair and uh, keep the whole growing out process super easy. So we're gonna start by wetting the back of his head and I'm not using any clippers with this cut, just scissors. All right, got the back wet. I'm gonna comb it out. And I'm gonna start at the very bottom and work my way around. So I'm gonna start by doing vertical sections and his main goal today is to get the sides cleaned up and the back, but he wants to keep a lot of length up on top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a middle section, separate it, and then start with our vertical sections. What we're doing here is we're taking out all the extra length that we don't need when he's growing his hair out because you want to get the top longer than the sides first. Otherwise, you'll end up with a mullet, and no one wants an unintentional mullet. So what we're gonna do is keep taking our vertical sections, over them directing just a little bit, and really trying to clean these sides up. And as I go farther up, I'm gonna diagonal them a little bit. So taking it, I'm not point cutting, I'm just taking off the bulk. I'll go back in later and point cut them, just so I can kind of get that grown out look and get a little bit of texture. And we're just using our uh, section as a guide, going off that. And wherever I cut the hair, you can kind of see the closer we get to the top, the shorter the hair is gonna be. Just keep taking our diagonal sections, using that line as a guide. And we're gonna dip down to the side of the back and do the same thing. You can kind of see the guide we made. We're just going ahead and cutting it out, all that extra length we don't need. And your head down. Recreate my line. And I'm gonna start on the other side. And then I'm gonna create a perimeter, just where I want the neckline to start. I'm gonna take my scissors, go about right there, and just start cutting it. And then after that, when we're done with the sides, I'll go back and use trimmers to clean it up and create your uh, traditional neck shape. So you can kind of see here, his hair is sticking out just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean his head down comb it out, and I'm gonna point cut it just by doing this. Take out a little extra weight, and kind of do a natural taper in a way. Because I want this part to be the shortest part of his haircut. And give him a little bit more time out of it. Usually, when you're growing your hair out, you're only gonna get a haircut about every two months, two to three months. And with those haircuts, nothing dramatic is changing. You're really just trying to keep the sides short and get the top longer. Kind of see it's just a nicer blend now. Now I'm gonna go scissor over comb and just start point cutting. Kind of create a natural look. So I'm using my comb as the guide here. And I'm just picking up the hair. I'm not doing it right against the head. I'm taking out a little bit, over directing it, and just taking off all this extra bulk. You can already see here it's a nicer blend. And then I'm gonna go back and just do some detailing. See my guide right there. This hair isn't necessary, so I'm gonna go through and point cut that. 
I'm not gonna cut it straight across just because I want to have some texture and movement in here. I'm not really trying to create layers, I'm just trying to create more of a natural shape. I don't wanna have any lines either. So when I did the blunt cut, any lines that I see, I can easily remove them just by doing this. It just has a nice, nice smooth blend to it. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start on the left side now. We got our back done. I'm gonna re-wet this. I'm gonna create another section. Separate it. What I'm going to do now, instead of vertical sections like I did before, I'm going to take diagonal and take them in this direction. I'm actually going to start a little bit lower. Pick up the hair. And cut off about an inch, inch's worth. I'm going to go back over it. I'm going to point cut it. Brush that forward and just kind of continue up until about halfway through. And I'm going to save that for later because I don't want to cut too much off the top. I'm going to meet it with the other section and kind of continue to just take that guide and bring it over to this side. And kind of see here where that line is and go past and just cut all that off. That way it'll be even with the back now. So I'm kind of just like dividing the section, going through the middle and cutting off whatever's uneven there. I'm going to kind of have the same stopping point up where I did on the other side. Just like that. Perfect. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to again comb it out through here and clean up the sideburns just by doing that. I don't want to go too far. Pretty much just doing an inch again like I did, like I have been doing on the side. I'm going to comb it forward. And it'll just really clean up that sideburn. Same thing, diagonal sections. And cutting off all this extra hair I don't need. Going back through it. And point cutting. Taking off this extra hair. Just trying to get that clean sideburn shape. I'm still keeping a little bit of length here. You can kind of slick it back around the ear and have some longer pieces there. I'm gonna take sections in the other direction. So we did diagonal that way. I'm gonna do diagonal this way now and kind of go over it and keep point cutting that. I'm really just trying to do a natural haircut here Nothing too fancy, because I know when he's growing out, he's having the intention that he wants to keep a lot of length, but just keep it easier to maintain in style. And I just have it nice looking, so this will do a good job at that. You know, it won't completely look like he got a fresh haircut, but it'll feel a lot better than what he had previous. You can kind of see here the top already has, or is already a lot more noticeable in its length. It's not too blended with the sides. I'm just gonna do any extra detailing I need to do. All right, we'll go ahead and do the other side.
All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the neck with the trimmers and uh, do a bit of a rounded shape. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start with the top. Um, I wet it, pushed it all back, and I'm kinda gonna go with this natural part, which falls around here, but I'm not gonna do it completely there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take horizontal sections starting in the back and the middle and then working my way around. And again, I'm not gonna try and take too much length off the top. I'm really just gonna texturize it and continue to blend it in with the sides. So we'll take this back section, bring it up, and then I can kind of see where we had cut it recently. And what I'm gonna do there is just take it and even it out, but still keep that textured look to it. So I'm just gonna go in point cut it, take that, bring it around to the right side, and I still have my guide right here. I'm just going to continue to cut that and go around up until we met what we did with the uh, sides. And this will take out a little bit of weight. I'm gonna do it all the way until I meet with the sides. Right there, perfect. We're gonna continue on the left side now. All right, so I'm gonna take what I did in the back and use that guide I have and bring it forward all the way to the front. Touch your head back just a little bit. Keep doing those horizontal sections. And I should be able to see my guide. Yep, right there. Same thing. I'm gonna work my way to the right side first and then to the left. And then I meet exactly where I want it to be on the sides. All right, so we finished the horizontal sections. I'm gonna go back over what I did uh, with vertical sections um, and kind of go and just make sure everything's even. I don't need to cut too much off, just any pieces I see that shouldn't really belong there. Going, starting in the front and uh, going to the back. And this will eventually meet up with the back sides too. So where we did the horizontal, now with the, um, on the sides, this is going to the back. I see some chunks right there that need to be taken off. All right, so we just finished up his haircut and any detailing we needed to do. We're gonna be using Pompadour Pro's leave-in conditioner. It's a lightweight leave-in conditioner that repairs any damage and has great frizz control. You can rub it in your hands and then put it throughout the hair. You want the hair to be a little bit towel dried and completely saturate it. And this is what we're gonna put in before we blow dry his hair. All right, so we got our blow dryer. We're gonna be using medium heat with high power um, and the leave conditioner has a heat protectant in it so we don't have to worry too much about any damage. So with this product, you're able to use high power if you wanted and high heat. We're just gonna be blow drying down his hair, I'm not using a brush right now. Just trying to get the majority of it dry. And you can kind of see here what we did before. It's just a lot more cleaned up, a lot more textured, and has just more body to it than it was before. It was just kind of like all laying down. Now it has more style to it. So. He continues to get these haircuts every two months or so. It's gonna make the whole process a lot easier and eventually it'll keep growing and growing. And he'll end up getting to his goal where he wants his hair. All right, so now we got it mostly dry. What we're gonna do next is use the round brush and do a little bit of styling. So I'm gonna find his part and Julian, I know you kind of particular about your part. Mm -hmm. 
Is that it right there? Uh, you can always change it if you want. Perfect. All right. So we're going to take that, use the round brush. Uh, again, medium heat, high power. Take it and uh, pick up the hair with it and just bring it back and curve it around. Really trying to smooth it out, but add a good amount of volume in there. I don't want his hair to look too flat. I want it to uh, just have lots of body, really. And that's kind of the look we're trying to achieve right now. You know, combined with the leave-in conditioner, using a round brush, I think we'll do a good job of creating a little bit more body than if he were to use nothing or just blow dry it without any products. So as you can see, uh, we're done blow drying and uh, cutting the side shorter added a lot more emphasis to the top. It's a lot longer and it's more noticeable too. So this is great for the growing out process. So after two months, when his sides are getting long again to where they were, his top will also be long and we'll be able to take the sides a bit shorter, not as short as we did today. So you're kind of just continuing the whole cycle of getting the sides cut short, growing out the top, side short, growing out the top. And then eventually when the top is long enough, you'll be able to push those sides and uh, pretty much grow out the hair all at once. Um, obviously getting some trims to get off split ends, but other than that, I think we did a pretty good job at maintaining the length, but really cleaning up the style. Okay, and to finish off the style, we're gonna be using Mr. Pompadour's Texture Powder. It's a lightweight powder that adds a lot of volume and texture to the hair. It's matte, so you can't see it, and it's, it's pretty lightweight, so you're not really gonna feel it in the hair, but it will add a lot of density. So we're just gonna put it through. We're gonna go ahead and just really saturate it in the hair. And we didn't use any product, uh, any styling product before. Um, really the only one we did was the leave-in conditioner before uh, we blow dried. So this is gonna kinda create a little bit of ease, a little bit of texture, um, and a tiny bit of movement as well. You can't see it in the hair. It's nice and lightweight. Might actually add a little bit more over here. And you can always, like, a good thing to do too, instead of just putting it all over the head, you can kind of take sections and put it in the roots. That'll be good with some added volume. And in this case, I'm not squeezing the bottle, otherwise it'll all come out. I'm just kind of like sprinkling it through. And this is doing a good job of kind of keeping these sides, excuse me, keeping the top up and not falling down. But also using the blow dryer help with that as well. I think that's nice. So we finished the cut in the style. We ended up using Pompadour Pro's leave-in conditioner before we blow dried it. And then we finished the style with Mr. Pompadour's texture powder. And these products did a great job at creating texture, keeping the hair nice and soft, and having just a really easy style for when you're growing your hair out. So. Um, I mean, we'll see him again in two months to be able to continue the same thing. Eventually his top will just get longer and longer, his sides, we're going to keep cutting short and they'll meet together and then he'll have a smooth growing out process. All right, I just got my hair cut by Timmy. I did a pretty good job because I'm trying to grow it back out so it's a good maintenance cut to, you know, help it look longer, you know, as I grow it out. He used uh, this texture powder and leave-in conditioner and both of that worked out pretty well for, you know, what I'm trying to achieve. Hi, thanks for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, Pumpador Brands is a premium hair care company with products for men, women, and professionals. Check us out at pompadourpro.com and bring out the best in your hair. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you again next time.